Hello friends, it's been quite a while since I've done a Bible review video and uh, thought I'd do one. I just recently purchased this new Bible from Amazing Facts called the Ultimate Prophecy Study Bible and I uh, thought I'd do a quick review on it. I don't see any other ones up on YouTube currently. I think it's a pretty new release, but I wanted to show it to you. Uh, you've probably seen my older video from several years back where I did a review on their giant print version of this Bible, an earlier incarnation from 2012. And uh, I had dinged it back in the day for not having the headings or uh, subtitles, I guess, above the text. But just for the record, I also recently purchased another version. They've updated the version of the giant print Bible of this. And uh, now it's published by Safelees, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, you can see it on the Bible here, Safelees. That's who publishes that version. As well as this new version they just did, the Ultimate Prophecy Study Bible. So now if you buy the giant print version from Amazing Facts... It does have the headings in it, so I, I doubt they listened to my video and took that advice. I'd like to think so, but uh, I'm sure they disagreed with me and uh, decided they should do that. It definitely enhanced the Bible. So I now own that one, an updated version of that Bible in the giant print, and their newest version they just put out. So this is the one I'm here to talk to you about today, and I think it's pretty newly released. I think it came out in July of this year of 2024. So let's take a look at it. So if you get it, obviously it comes in this box. We're not really reviewing the box, but just to give you an idea what it comes in. And I'm not going to read through all the features. You can pause the video and read them if you want to do that. Here's an example of the text. This review is about the Bible, so let's actually get to that. Give you a little quick walkthrough of it. They, they will put your name on it if you do that in the order, but here's what it looks like on the front. It's a New King James Version, the Ultimate Prophecy Study Bible. I have my name put on mine. Here's what the spine looks like. Now to my eye, <laughs> at first I even thought mine was messed up. Because to me it looks like that should be flipped around, like that's upside down. But I've looked at the others online and that's the way it's supposed to be made. That's just the way they designed it. So I'm not sure why they did that to my eye. It looks like that's upside down, but that's the way it is on all of them, so... I didn't get a defective one as far as that goes, oddly enough. But this is a pretty amazing Bible. And I will admit, at first I wasn't real crazy about it. Um, you got this loose sheet here, which is tends to annoy me in a lot of Bibles because they always get wrinkled. This isn't the only publishing company that does this. Matter of fact, my newer version of the Amazing Facts Giant Print Bible has done this also. When they publish them like that, and they're kind of laying loose not in line with the other pages. They tend to wrinkle, and that's kind of annoying, but oh well, who really pays attention to that part anyways? But overall, it, it is a really neat Bible. And where I was going, I started to tell you when I first got it, I wasn't really crazy about it. Uh, my opinion has since changed. Uh, to me, it was just too busy. When you open it up, there's notes and stuff all over the pages, and it's a really busy Bible. But the more I've had it for about a week now, roughly, and been using it, it's got a lot of amazing study helps in it, which is really the point of a study Bible. So I guess if you're if you're looking for an old-fashioned looking Bible for just reading purposes, this probably isn't going to be the one for you. I would actually suggest getting the giant print version uh, if you're just looking for a reader because it still has the Amazing Facts study guides in the back, but it doesn't have all the busyness on the text blocks on the pages. So here's what you get. Gives you like a chart of the Old Testament books here and tells you the historical books and again instead of making this video really long just pause it if you want to see some of these pages because I don't want to bore you by talking forever but this is the features of the Bible tells you what all it includes now I will say their uh, topical chain reference studies is really neat in this particular Bible I like how it's laid out Again, if you're interested in seeing this further, just pause the video and read what it says. So I don't have to read through it all and bore you. So here's the topical index chains as far as the cover, uh, color coding goes and things like that. You can see it's got, uh, did God create the devil, keys for a happy marriage, the ultimate deliverance. 
say from certain death, written in stone, purity and power. So basically the, these codes go with the 27 Amazing Facts study guides that were published in the back of the original versions of this Bible. On this particular version, they are not published in here. They have QR codes you have to scan to bring them up digitally. And if I have one complaint about this Bible, it's probably that. I'm an old-fashioned guy. I'm not really into scanning QR codes and looking at stuff digitally, but I, I realize the modern youngsters, they're into that. So that's probably something that'll be pretty popular with a lot of other people besides me. Just, I wasn't real crazy about it. I like how in the giant print version that they still make, they actually publish the 27 study guides in the back where you can read through them page by page. That's the way I prefer it. But that's really the only complaint I have about this Bible. It's really a good Bible overall. It's got the Bible reading plan, which I think pretty much any modern Bible, probably 90% of them has this today, has some sort of Bible reading plan. And I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. But anyway, I'm having trouble getting that page to turn. There you go. And these pages are pretty thin, but again, that's pretty standard with a lot of Bibles. Could be thicker, but that's a minor complaint. So it's got really neat outlines before all the books. It says the first book of Moses called Genesis. And it's got a lot of neat notes here. You can pause and read. I'll try to get here where you can do that. And then you start with the text. And this is what the text looks like. So you will notice that it has the words of God here in the Old Testament in blue. Much like the um, uh, Remnant Study Bible, if you're familiar with that. And the Sword Study Bible has all the words of God in the Old Testament and the New Testament in red. So that's another Bible that's similar. But you'll see, like, your your this is your actual uh, text of the Bible up in here. It has certain sections shaded like you do with a highlighter. And it usually has notes about those shaded texts down here. And it also features your reading chains, which I showed you at the front of it. This one looks like it's going to be on the Sabbath. Kind of having trouble getting my phone to focus in on it. But anyway, I'm not going to make this too long. We're just going to scroll through. Uh, one feature I do like is the difficult Bible text section in the back. Now they not only have that, they've expanded it from the old versions of this Bible. And now you turn to a certain section of the Bible where it features it, and it always has this question mark. And it enters the question up here. Like here it says, Who are the sons of God and the daughters of men? That's a common question. So you can pause that and read what the answer says and get a look at how that works. In my opinion, my Bible reviews in the past have gone way too long. <laughs> so I've gotten older and hopefully a little wiser. I don't want to lose people watching these. So I'm just going to quickly thumb through this thing. You can pause it if you want to see anything in particular. Oh, I also, I do like the center column references. This Bible does have that, and that is awesome. It has really neat center column references. The original Amazing Facts Study Bibles did not have that. So... It also has a, it doesn't have thumb indexing where it's cut into the paper, but it has it kind of printed where you can, uh, where you can see it. Yeah, it's hard to, here you go. Yeah, you can actually see it here. So that's pretty neat. And it does have a lot of neat color illustrations that are nicely done. Here's the Empire Chronology it shows. Furnishings of the temple. And then here we got one of those difficult Bible texts. It's focusing on 2 Chronicles 3.11 to 12. It says, were there two sets of cherubim in the temple? You can pause it to read the answer if you're interested. So one thing you may or may not like, the original Amazing Facts study Bibles, Prophecy study Bibles, were two column. They'd have like the Bible text in two columns. This is a single column text Bible. And to be quite honest, at first that was another one of the things I didn't like about it. it took me some getting used to, but the more I'm reading it, I'm actually kind of starting to like it. It's kind of kind of growing on me. So 
Another one of our difficult Bible text questions down here in the answer. Again, pause it to, to review any of these that you're interested in. So I'm going to speed this up, hopefully. Just trying to show you what you get if you order this thing. Now, if we jump over to the New Testament, which we're in here in the book of John, you see the words of Christ are in red, and that's the shade you're going to get for that. And then here's your notes again down below. You can pause and read. If it's uh, focusing, I'm not sure it is. Hopefully. Now, some of the pages you'll find have a lot of notes. Uh, at first, to be honest, that was kind of distracting to me. That was one of the things I wasn't sure I liked. Uh, the more I use it, the more I'm actually enjoying it because, man, it's just packed full of detail. So, uh, I mean, obviously, if you bought this, you bought it because it's a study Bible and you want some extra study helps and additions and things like that. And you will definitely get that with this one. It is definitely a study Bible with lots of study notes and comments and from the Amazing Facts Ministries crew. Probably most of these answers in here come from, I would say, Pastor Doug Batchelor or from the archives from Pastor Joe Cruz, the founder of Amazing Facts. So you get to the end. Revelation is really full of commentary notes. You'll see. Uh, let's go back like, to the 19th, 18th, 19th, 20th chapters here. You'll see there's lots of notes in the book of Revelation. And then like here's your text block, and this is all notes. Scripture, all notes. Which is to be expected. Revelations, pretty detailed. A lot of questions get brought up about that. So, then once we get past the book of Revelation, then we get into the study helps. Here's the Bible resources that's offered. You can pause and see what it offers. So, we start out with the Bible symbols chart. And that goes on for a few pages here, several pages actually. Then we have the numbers in Bible prophecy. You can pause my video to check that out. Harmony of the Gospels, that's pretty standard in a lot of modern Bibles. Uh, Jewish calendar, Harmony of the Gospels, parables of Jesus. Prophecies of the Messiah, and then the Old Testament predictions, and then the New Testament text where it was fulfilled. I'll kind of get in here where you can pause this and see this, maybe. And that actually goes on for several pages of Prophecies of the Messiah. So very detailed and very well done. And then you get here to Answers to Difficult Bible Text index so basically this gives you your topics and then it'll give you what page to turn to in the bible and then you go back to that page in genesis and it'll answer that question in those little blue boxes i showed you with the question marks and they have greatly expanded this from the original edition again you can kind of pause this and check it out but that's definitely a plus on this new edition and just several pages of this and it has a dictionary and concordance very well done and it goes on for forever so very well done and you have coins of the Bible lots of beautiful illustrations in this Bible nicely done and it says that's the 2300 day prophecy chart you flip it over on the back and I, yeah it says understanding the 1200 year prophecy and then we continue with the dictionary concordance. And then once you get to the back, you get some maps, more drawings, lots of lots of illustrations here. And more cyclopedic index. It continues on. So I got ahead of myself. That was actually illustrations. I'm sorry. The maps are in the back. And here's what I mentioned about the 27 Amazing Facts study guides. If I was going to 
ding this Bible on any particular thing that maybe I don't like about it. It's because they put the QR codes for the 27 lesson study guides. And you can scan these QR codes, obviously, and it brings up these study guides digitally. And that's great, because I realize lots of people today, especially younger people, that's probably the only way they're going to actually do it. I'm an old dinosaur. But I, I prefer in the old giant print version that I have of this Bible, how they actually publish these study guides in, their, in print in their Bible, and you can read them without having to get out a phone or a tablet and scan these QR codes. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm sure just as many people, if not more, disagree with me and probably prefer to this. So you got to change with the times. I get it. I'm old. <laughs> but once you get past that, then you uh, it's got a few maps here. Again, I'm trying to do this one-handed. But anyway, you get the idea, I guess, on this review. It has one page for notes, whereas the old giant print version had several pages for notes. So, again, most people probably do notes on their phones or tablets these days, so probably not a big deal. But that's what you get if you order this thing. It's uh, published by Safely's with Amazing Facts International. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's a. It seems to be genuine leather, and it's a heavy, thick Bible. And it really is. So it's a. I mean, it's really heavy on this particular Bible. So I don't know how long the binding will last. Hopefully for a while. But, but yeah, it's got a lot of pages when you open it up. So you can see it gets kind of kind of heavy when you open it up a lot of pages to support so hopefully the binding will hold out since it's not double stitched or whatever but, but it didn't cost an arm and a leg anyway so for however long it lasts i'm going to enjoy it and i would definitely buy it again i would recommend you buy it if you're if you enjoy amazing facts ministry and their studies uh, definitely a good bible to have i also still have the uh, giant print edition the updated version with the headings this time and uh, i plan on keeping both of them because the giant print's actually a little easier to read but if I want to do in-depth study, I think this one offers a little bit more study uh, resources inside than the old giant print version. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, uh, your look at this Bible in case you're considering purchasing one. Have a blessed night.